like different crowns every year and I think it's very like refreshing. She's very articulate and well spoken. Kunka cup cup kun cup kunka so badika Angels, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Rafi. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Please hit the button below. And if you're new to my channel, please do like, share, and comment on my video. So for today's vlog, I'm gonna tackle about Miss Universe Thailand 2020. This pageant is one of my favorite national pageants. We know that Thailand is like a Philippines. They are our neighbor as Asian country. And we know that Thailand is getting stronger every year in Miss Universe. And they placed top 5 last Miss Universe pageant. So a little bit of history, in 2000, Koltida Yen Prasert was crowned as the very first Miss Thailand Universe. This was under with the new ownership, Surang Prampre, after Miss Thailand organization lost its license from Miss Universe organization. In 2012, the name of the pageant changed to Miss Universe Thailand. Year 2019, which is last year, Surang Prampre, the franchise holder for almost 20 years, was replaced by GPN Global, headed by Sumchai Chiwisuntanon as the new national director of Miss Universe Thailand for five consecutive years contract with Miss Universe Organization from 2019-2020. TPN or TPN Global also helped Miss Universe Organization to bring Miss Universe in Thailand last 2018. And it was successful from the production pageant activities and everything. Miss Universe Thailand 2019 was the first edition of the pageant and the new franchise holder. The TPN Global, which is the new franchise holder, did very well from the, the first day. We have the application day or the screening. They have like body check, photo shoots for their portfolio for the girls. Second, the application interview, which is um you can get a golden tiara after the interview or if you pass the interview. Photo shoot or glam shots or sponsor campaign. They have also the sashing ceremony. Whichever sash is like their first name. For example, my name is Rafi. Then sash says Rafi or my first name. They have like trainings. They have like personality development, health and fitness, makeup trainings. I, and also behavioral training for I think mental state or emotional spiritual aspects and I think it's very important because of the pressure they have like also pageant events they have like fashion show they have cultural tours sponsored visas they have like media tours outdoor activities like also swimsuit competition which is outdoor competition last year and they have also the Close their interview, which is the very important one. Lakas maka Miss Universe. Then they have like preliminary competition. Then they have like the finals, which is the main event. Pawin Suda Pasay Juwen won the Miss Universe Thailand. And she was placed as one of the top 5 finalists or only Asian in the top 5 last Miss Universe 2019. I was rooting Miss Universe Thailand. Pawin Suda Pasay Juwen last Miss Universe 2019 more than Miss Universe Philippines 2019 Gazini Ganado. I really love Pasay. And we know that Thailand is doing well in Miss Universe pageant. Thailand plays in top 20 or the first cut for five consecutive year from 2015. I think Thailand is like the Philippines. Thai fans are very supportive for their queens. They're very passionate of the representative, not only in the Miss Universe pageant, but also other beauty pageants. That's why I think Thailand was successful last year. They won Miss International, then they won also the Super National. So we know recently, Miss Universe Thailand organization has press conference. So here's the event for this year's Miss Universe Thailand. So from August 4 to 18, they have like online registration. So it's like ongoing, the online registration for this year's Miss Universe Thailand. Then September 1, they have like announcement of top 100. From September 8, audition round for the top 100. September 11, they have announcement of top 30. 
Then September 4, opening ceremony or press presentation. September 15 to 21, they have like activities. It's like pageant activities in Bangkok. And then September 22 to 24, they have like excursion in Wuhan, gala night or swimsuit competition. September 25 to October 5, they have the challenges or rehearsals. October 7, they have like the preliminary competition. October 8 to 9, they have like self-enhancement or I think this is closed door interview. Then October 10, we have the final competition. Then the prizes for this year's Miss Universe Thailand are the following. Extraordinary crown from Mawad. Luxury accommodation by Asset Wise Public Company Limited. Cash price of 1,000 baht. Car, then Sash, and other special awards. Hashtag Real You, Hashtag Real Universe, Hashtag Empowering Beauty, Hashtag Miss Universe Thailand 2020. I think I heard that they're very strict on their rules regarding the age, about the age limit for this year's Miss Universe Thailand. And I also love to see all the runners up of Fasai Puin Suda from last year's Miss Universe Thailand, which is the top five. They're always at the event of Miss Universe Thailand and I, I love to see that kind of the kind of setup and I really appreciate that that all the top five kung nasaan si Pasay nandun din sila parang ganon ang, ang ganda what I really love about the Miss Universe Thailand is that the crown every year they change the crown every year has a different crown and when I followed the Miss Universe Thailand in 2016 from Chalita, Aniform to Chalita to Maria and from Maria to Supida and then from Supida to Fasa it's like different crowns every year and I think it's very like refreshing and it's like very expensive and I love it. I, I love that kind of setup and I don't know if after you won Miss Universe Thailand, the crown will give you or you have like the replica or you will surrender it in the organization. I don't know the setup. But yeah, I love the um, idea that they change crown every year. I also love that they have like the national costume competition. Um, the designer, I mean the designer, all the designers, they submit through the organization their concept or what is their their idea about the national costume and that national costume will be used competing in Miss Universe pageant. I, I like also that idea. My top 5 favorite for this year's Miss Universe Thailand. So let's get started. I think these 5 girls are all veterans in the pageantry. They are all have an experience in the pageantry and all of them are official contender for this year's Miss Universe Thailand. This is not just a rumor because all of them are they announce it in their social media accounts. Four of them they already represent Thailand in international pageant. This is gonna be tough for this year's Miss Universe Thailand pageant. So let's get started. Number five we have Keratiga. She's 25 years old. She's 25 years old. She's a Thai. Work as a model in Hong Kong. She is not new to the pageant world as she was former Miss Intercontinental Thailand 2013 where she was one of the top 15 finalists in Miss Intercontinental 2013. In 2018, she was crowned as Miss International Thailand and she placed one of the top 15 finalists in Miss International 2018. Her beauty like soft, for me, her beauty is for Miss World. She remind me of Kim last year. She need to focus in her communication skills and also her advocacy. But her stage presence during Miss International 2018, because I remember she was batchmate of Miss International 2018 first runner-up, Athesa Manalo. So I remember that she is good in uh, stage presence and I don't have problem on her passerelle. So she's tall, she's gorgeous, and she's fit. She is sexy and I think she needs to focus on her communication skills. She really reminds me of Kim. And yeah, let's see in Miss Universe. Thai. Next we have Chavika. She's 24 years old. She's a Thai. She is graduate with a bachelor degree in business administration. She work as a model. She participate in Miss Universe Thailand 2015 and she plays as the first runner-up of Anipur. 
Miss Universe Thailand 2015. She was appointed to represent Thailand in Miss Earth 2015, but she didn't place. Yes, I remember her. She was the first runner-up of Aniporn. Aniporn is uh, Miss Universe Thailand 2015 and also Miss Universe 2015 top 10 finalist. And also she was the batchmate of Angelia Ong. She won Miss Earth 2015, but she didn't play in Miss Earth 2015. For me, she came back strong after years that she didn't join pageant. She's vocal that she really want to represent Thailand in Miss Yuan pageant. That's why she didn't join any pageant, national pageant in her country. She need also to focus on her communication skills. I know she can, yeah, she can speak in English. She can speak in English. I want her to focus on her advocacy because we know nowadays in Miss Universe, it's not only about the beauty, but also it's more on, you know, advocacies. And also, uh, her pasarela is check. Her performance, stage presence is check. I don't have problem. Her body is check. If she will be represented Thailand in Miss Universe, why not? She has an experience, and I think her experience will lead her to will lead her to be more strong. So number three, we have Dawi Pom. I'm super excited about this. She's 24 years old. She's a Thai. Dawi Pom is a professional model. She was former Miss Grand Chantabori 2017, and she was third runner-up in Miss Grand Thailand 2017. She represented Thailand in Miss United Continents 2017, and she placed third runner-up, and she won Best in National Costume. I was waiting her to join any national pageant or international pageant. I followed her since 2017 when she joined Miss Grand International 2017. She was remarkable for me because of her national costume, which is the durian. Her stage presence. She really reminds me of Shalita Swansani, which is Miss Universe Thailand 2016 and Miss Universe 2016 top 6 finalist from Thailand. And she was my favorite Miss Thailand so far. I really love her skin tone. I really love the color of her skin. The way she walked the signature bouncy walk of thailand really remarkable for me i think she really need to focus on communication skills i put her in number three because well she really reminds me of chalita swansani the stage present is check i really love her pasarela she has like strong walk strong aura and she also have an experience because she was appointed by mr nawat to represent Thailand, United Continents 2017, where she ended up third runner -up. And I believe that she came back more strong for this year's Miss Universe Thailand. Next, we have number two. Of course, the favorite, we have Vina. Vina is a Thai Indian. She's 23 years old. She graduated in liberal arts and she is a model. She's fluent in speaking three languages, which is English, Russian and Hindi. She's not new to the pageant world as she participated in Miss Universe Thailand 2018 and she was placed second runner-up. She was the strong contender to win the Miss Universe Thailand 2018. Uh, she has a strong stage presence. Her walk and her art is big thumbs up. Need to focus on her communication skills. And I don't have problem on her body. Slim body, sexy body beauty but the thing is when i look at her she's not like thai beauty it's an indian beauty for me favorite to win uh, many thai people rooting for her to win for this year's miss universe thailand and also she is very vocal about joining miss universe thailand i'm hoping that she will do well in miss universe thailand it's gonna be exciting and i know that she came back prepared and more strong also so I'm very happy about her decision that she will join again and she said one of her interview that she will join and again and again as long as her age is pasok pa sa age limit. Yes, number one, we have number one. For me, it's not easy for me to have a decision to have my number one list for this year's uh, Miss Universe Thailand. Although there's no like official contender or candidate, but still she's my number one. She's very vocal about joining Miss Universe Thailand for this year's edition. And I'm very happy that she's back. And my number one is 
Amanda. Amanda Obdan. She's 27 years old. She's a Thai Canadian. She is graduated from the University of Toronto, Canada with a degree in business administration and economics. Amanda started her career as a model in 2011 and she worked with big brands. First pageant was Miss World Thailand 2015 but she didn't place. She was former Miss Grand Pocket 2016, Miss Grand Rising Star 2016, or top 10 finalist in Miss Grand Thailand 2016. She was selected to represent Thailand in Miss Tourism Metropolitan International. She won the title as Miss Tourism Metropolitan International 2016. You can call her Amanda or you can call her also Charlene. For me, she's a strong contender. She really reminds me the way she speaks, the way she talks. She really reminds me of Fasai Puinsuda. Although both of them are half Canadian, half Thai, the way she composes her thoughts, her accent, she's very articulate and well-spoken. Amanda has a great communication skills which can help her during Q&A round in the competition. I really love her so much. For me, she's everything. A strong contender and for me, she's a complete package. And practically speaking, I really want to choose her as a representative to win Miss Universe Thailand, not just because she's 27. Gumabao or Michelle Gumabao also is 27. I think age doesn't matter as, as long as they're very determined to win the crown. I think she came back more strong with her determination. I think that's her edge that she won Miss Tourism Metropolitan International, an international crown. I would like to see her representing Thailand in Miss Universe pageant. And we know that Thailand is getting stronger and stronger. Continue the strikes, the waning strike for Thailand. It's either Amanda or Vina. Both of them will do well at Miss Universe pageant. Some of the rumor contender for this year's Miss Universe Thailand. I will also love to see Miss Chiang Mai 2020, Alexandra. Then Chair A, Sassy. I will love to see them, all of them, in Miss Universe Thailand 2020. I think this year is going to be tough. Selection who's gonna win is the next Miss Universe Thailand. I think um, some of them, they're joining pageant because of their age. Um, hinahabol na nila yung age nila, 27, as pageant na nila to. So why not? So mga ganon. It's going to be a strong batch for this year's Miss Universe Thailand. Please comment down below who is your bet or who is your favorite for this year's Miss Universe Thailand, Miss Universe Thailand 2020. Just comment down below. So thank you Pageant Angel for watching. Hope to see you in my next vlog. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Please hit the button below. And if you're new to my channel, please do like, share, and comment on my videos. Thank you Pageant Angels. Hope to see you in my next vlog. Bye!